What's up YouTube, it's the quintessential tuba here and today I want to talk about INTJs and romantic relationships. So first thing I want to say is I want to want to apologize to all my subscribers for not putting out a video sooner. I've been trying to get around to making another video but life got in the way. So this was the most available opportunity that I had to make a video. So I'm going to try my best to continue being semi or bi-monthly with my videos so I do apologize for that so for this video I did a little bit of research did a little bit of thinking did a little bit of soul searching so INTJs and romantic relationships first off if you are an INTJ and you want to be in a romantic relationship get to know yourself as an INTJ Learn about the INTJ personality type and how it applies to you. Because to be quite honest with you, INTJs are jerks. We are some ridiculous uh, people to get along with. I think the only people INTJs get along with completely are other INTJs or themselves. But it's hard to get along with us. And we have to compromise all day, every day in social settings and environments in order to get along with people. So, first of all, know that before you get into a romantic relationship because you're going to have problems as an INTJ. And if you are saying to yourself right now that I don't have any problems, I get along with people, then maybe you're not an INTJ because most INTJs will tell you, or anyone who knows an INTJ will tell you, INTJs are jerks. You know, or that INTJ has honed his personality so much that he can get along with other people. So it is work. But if it is work just getting along with people as an INTJ, then just imagine a romantic relationship. Relationships are built on compromise. So and that's all the time, 24 seven. So. That's going to take a lot of work. But here are some things that I suggest for an INTJ that wants to get into a romantic relationship. As I said, get to know yourself and the personality type and how it applies to you. Secondly, what personality type should an INTJ date? Not everybody's walking around knowing their personality type for one. So that's the thing. So if you find someone with whom you are interested Ask them to take the MBTI test. Find out what type of personality type they are and get to know that person, which is what you should do in a relationship anyway, but not just getting to know that person as a person. But is this something that you can deal with long term? And I say that because a lot of times introverts try to get into relationships with extroverts. Not thinking about long term, can I put up with this constantly ripping and running all the time? Because extroverts are some busy people. So, you know, it, it, it's something that you have to think about for the long run. But also, get to know that person's likes and dislikes. Your likes and dislikes in a general level, in a relationship level, and just... Uh, being with other people, with other personality types. What are your likes and dislikes? What can you tolerate? What can't you tolerate? What type of adjustments can you make? Can you even conform? Because sometimes being in a relationship, it gets to the point where compromise isn't enough. Sometimes you have to conform. You just have to do things. So that's a lot you have to consider. And also, another piece of advice for the INTJ that wants to get into a relationship. And it don't matter whether you're male or female. You know, it all applies because the personality is tight. But um, maybe if you can't meet another INTJ, maybe you have to just make adjustments to your personality. Maybe you have to make yourself change and conform 
to being around other people before you get into a relationship. Make sure that you're ready for that mentally because INTJs, we're kind of like, um, you know how they say an old person being stuck in their ways and you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, INTJs pretty much have their own zone where they are so independent that they can probably go through life without being around other people or even being in a relationship. So learn these things about yourself. Um, Also, make changes to your personality. Do things that you don't normally do. You know, change your routines and your patterns. Uh, Do everything differently. Just change everything. Because when you're in a relationship, that path is not going to be evenly paid. It's going to be like being on a, in, a, in an off-road vehicle. And it's going to be a lot of ups, ups and downs and bumps and all kinds of stuff. So, but also I want to say that being an INTJ and being in a romantic relationship, you have to look at it for the lasting benefits. And when I say that, that, that means that you, you can't just be quick to give up and say you're going to move on to the next person. But um, because you're going to keep moving on to the next person. So that's why I, I think it might be best for an INTJ to be with another INTJ. But then I know I know I've or I've heard about INTJ relationships where both parties are INTJs and their relationships are like two lawyers deposing each other. I mean, there's like no affection or emotion there. It's like everything is white and black. I mean, if you're cool with that, that's fine, you know, and maybe most INTJs would be because you know what they expect and it's easy. But um, you, there, there may be a lack of growth there if the relationship is so easy that there's no change. So, um, like I said, it's, it's tough because we all are individuals and even though we might have similar personality types, they may apply to us differently. And people are just different in general anyway. But uh, another tip that I have for an INTJ entering an INTJ relationship is you got to consider how you found that other person. You know, did you meet that person on a social media app, a dating app? in your religious organization or at a bar. So you have to consider everything to understand that what type of person are you meeting? So all of these things matter. Everything matters. And I know that I might be saying stuff that are obvious and people may know this, but sometimes it takes someone else to tell you, then you can think about it and realize, hey, you know what, yeah, that's kind of true. So, but um, like I said, the, the, the biggest thing I want to mention about an INTJ wanting a romantic relationship is really, it's on you. It's on you. So that person isn't going to change. That person is going to be who they are. And most people are not open enough to change their personalities, to alter them so much and to do so for a long time. So as the INTJ, people don't really get along with us too much, so it's going to be on you to make those changes. So until you can get along with at least five or ten people on a regular basis all the time, then maybe you're not ready for a romantic relationship. So... That's just a little bit of advice that I have, some considerations. And the reason why I say that is because I am an INTJ and I've been in some relationships and some friendships. And because of me and my personality type, majority of them have failed. So now if you are looking at this and you're saying, well, I'm an INTJ, I've never had a problem with relationships and friendships and so forth. My thought to you is maybe you're not an INTJ.
because just about everything I've learned about INTJs, everybody would tell you it's difficult to get along with them unless they make the changes to get along with people. So, INTJ relationships, do your best to change you, change yourself, make yourself Make yourself compatible for someone else. And don't just find compatibility compatibility unless it's another INTJ. So work on you. Do what you can. Do the research. You know, and I hate to make it sound methodical, but being an INTJ, you have to be methodical. But do the research. Learn what you can about the ups and downs about relationships. And... Just change, you know, make the adjustments, be willing to accept the bad with the good, practically probably more so bad because you're an INTJ. But I don't want to make it make myself sound like it's a killjoy or make make it sound like it's bad, because if you are looking for a relationship, then this it's going to be good. You know, you just have to put in the effort and there can be good things ahead. You can really enjoy someone else's company. So be willing to introduce someone into your life and listen a lot. And allow the things that interest that person to be incorporated into your life. And try to find some enjoyment out of those things yourself. So that's what I have. Um, I might make a part two because I don't want to be too long and I might review this and find that I had some other thoughts and things that I could refine. So INTJ relationships, do your best, um, be careful, and be thoughtful. So this is the Quintessential Tuber. Thanks for watching. Uh, Like, share, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day.